Today at 6, violent clashes between students and police during a mass protest at Westminster. Some protesters attacked Conservative Party headquarters as police struggled to contain the crowd. The first violence against cuts. Student protests see the storming of Millbank Tower as thousands lay siege to Conservative HQ. Violent backlash over tuition fees. Conservative headquarters attacked as thousands of students take to the streets. One group broke into the building, smashed windows and threw missiles. Student leaders called the action the despicable antics of a minority. Personally, I don't have enough money to spend on three years of education if it's going to be nine grand, just even overall. I mean, I don't think anybody does, and in my mind, education isn't just for the rich, it should be for everyone. I passionately believe that this is the wrong way to go about education. Education should be free and for all. Instead, this is charging everyone, and actually it's going to reduce the amount of people that can go to universities. The university is going to become like the old system, just for the elite again, and that's wrong. because I don't think education should be so expensive. It should be free in this country. If Scotland get it so cheap, we need to bring the prices down. When these people that are in charge now, when they were at university, they got paid to go, they got money after they finished. Now they're in power and the tables are turned and suddenly it's okay for them to charge so much for education. Mr Speaker, in April this year, the Deputy Prime Minister said that it was his aim to end university tuition fees. Can he update the House on how his plan is progressing? Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, I acknowledge, of course I acknowledge, this is, a, this, is an, this is an extraordinarily difficult issue and I've, uh, I've been entirely open about the fact that we have not been able to deliver we have not been able to deliver the policy that we held uh, in opposition because of the financial situation because of the compromises of the coalition government we have had to put forward a different policy i want to hear the deputy prime minister's update the deputy prime minister None, nonetheless we have stuck to our ambition our wider ambition to make sure to make sure that going to university that going to university is done in a progressive way so that for those people who are presently discouraged from going to university, bright people from poor, poor backgrounds, discouraged by the system we, we inherited from her government, are able to do so. That is why our policy is more progressive than hers. Harriet Harman. Well, I'm glad he thinks it's so fair. I hope he'll be going out and telling that to all the students and lecturers marching on West today. Education for the masses, not just for the ruling classes. Education for the masses, not just for the ruling classes.